Guys, I just opened up my new Tempest rain gear from Windrider. This stuff's awesome, man. I was at Millwood, let me just tell you the story. Day number two, which is what this episode is gonna be completely about, how we made a move from 30th to 12th spot. I'm talking flip-flop. We had an extremely rainy day, and my current provider of rain gear, I haven't been really excited about it, I ain't gonna lie. Um, I've been getting a little wet, I didn't like it, and my buddy, Mike Geiger, my partner, he had the Windrider Tempest, and he was bragging about it. And I said, buddy, let me just call Windrider and they're gonna hook me up. And they did. They sent me the Tempest bibs, and I've got a top on, I'm gonna go show you guys that as well. But I can tell you right now, I'm 6'1", this is an extra large, and this fits perfect. I guess it's resist, resistance to rain is awesome. Mike Geiger is one of those guys that will investigate just about everything, and he definitely did this because I can tell you this feels great. He had no problem, was completely dry on day number two. So anyway, I had to try it out. Let's try the top on. This is their uh, pro all-weather rain gear top, okay? What's really cool is it does have a lifetime warranty. Um, so check it out. Woo, baby, that really feels good, really light. That's going right in my boat. That's where it's going, right in the boat. Feels good, lots of pockets. Thanks, Mike Geiger, for, I don't know, pointing me in the right direction. Windrider, thank you for sending me this, and hopefully some of the subscribers will take advantage of that code right there. Let's, let's, let's put All right, guys, Millwood was an incredible experience. The second biggest move I have ever been a part of for three pound fishing. We moved 18 spots all the way up to 12th spot at Millwood. And we're gonna go through what we did differently and uh, why we think we were able to make that move in this episode. So let's get out here, let's catch some fish. But I appreciate you. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful day today. And uh, we're gonna have some fun, cool. Oh, and there's our first fish of the episode. Probably a post-spawn fish. We're fishing some piles to start this episode off and see if they're they are on those piles. And some of them are, so they don't all spawn at the same time. So, but let's talk about Millwood, guys. Let me just tell you, incredible, incredible experience. I'm gonna bring you right here. All right. So, pre-fish is so important in a tournament, and we really did a good job of prepping for day number two which we were going to have an extremely strong wind so we made sure that we had spots that were going to be out of the wind so we knew on day two even though we were in 30th place after day one that first off it was a log jam there we were only less than a pound from top 10 so even though it says 30th that doesn't mean anything because we knew we were right there with everybody else anyway it was literally a matter of small amounts so we went to those spots that were out of the wind. We went to our number one spot first off. It was in the wind, didn't catch a fish. Went to number two spot, ended up catching about four or five fish. Then we went to number four spot, which was out of the wind. And we could see number four spot from our number two spot. Now we number our spots in terms of where we wanna, like in terms of ranking, in terms of catching fish. So fourth spot, we could see it from number two. Nobody had fished it for the two days that we had been fishing. And we went over there guys and let me tell you it was just a, a blast we ended up calling out probably most of our fish from the number two spot and upgrading and upgrading and upgrading so we knew and we set a goal was to get the exact same weight we had on day one on day two and we knew we would leapfrog across a bunch of a bunch of teams especially the teams that had focused in on the main body of water which i don't blame them that's where the big fish were but when you have a 20 to 30 mile an hour gusts um, it's just somewhere that I personally can't do it. Now, some can, and they're gonna, you know, and they had success, but I'm just saying for us, it was a definitely a game plan of staying out of the wind and being able to uh, put the same number up that we had the day before. So it was, it was really good. All right, that's a small eater right there, folks. Little dinky little small eater. But I can tell you this, at Millwood, I use 
always the new 13 footer now this is the 10 footer this is the hammer 10 this will be out here in about within 30 days and we'll have a pre-sale on that but the 13 footer will, will be following that and <coughs> it was just it was perfect didn't have to worry about spooking fish we could get right up on top of them and i used the optimize optimize 100 percent of the time on millwood those fish were, you know, we were always targeting a two pound fish that we knew that we were post spawn. That was a good fish. And so uh, Optimize was absolutely perfect for the weight of the fish. Today I'm fishing with a three pound fishing <coughs> jig head, 132nd ounce, and one of my paddle tails. You guys can check those out at threepoundfishing.com. And we're just sitting out here on these piles that are just outside these spawning areas. And, uh, that's what we're doing right now. But I'll tell you what, we're probably gonna go in shallow here just to... There we go. Good fish. Good fish. solid about a 13 inch fish um, we're gonna let them go of course let me talk to you a little bit about the the products we used at millwood don't get bored with this i'm just gonna be really quick these fish were not spooky at, at, at millwood you did not need a 16 footer you could get away with a 13 footer all day long you probably could have got away with a 10 footer i chose to use the 10 pound optimized from sniping brave the 10 pound optimize don't forget it the optimize is in my opinion a braid that you can use on every lake if you would like but i think 12 pound if you're going to be there a lot 12 pound is the meteor is awesome uh the prototype rod 13 footer that's what i used it will be coming out here in probably about two or three months but the 10 foot hammer 10 is going to be very excited about that that's going to be coming out here any day probably within the next 30 days for sure uh, pre-sale will start within two weeks you'll see that on the website in fact you should probably see some things starting to pop up on the website uh, as early as this weekend so if you have an interest check it out it is the best 10 footer on the market without a doubt it's right here there's some modifications that are going to happen to it um, hammer 10 will be on it that type of thing but it is robust will not break no worries there you can boat flip your bit your pb in the boat it is an incredible rod that uh this has a lot of advantages again i wanted to thank uh the original fish formula for sponsoring three pound fishing on the elite series can't thank them enough and uh i guess we're losing our son here so check them out at uh, baitpop.com or the original fish formula and uh, we used it quite a bit actually so thanks again guys wind rider all the guys sniping braid hog fishing their nets are flat out incredible and uh Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. Have a great one, guys.